What is going on everyone? Andrew from IDB here. I know a lot of people really miss MagSafe on the new MacBook and MacBook Pros, and we've seen other companies attempt to more or less replicate MagSafe with USB-C. Well, this Bolt S is probably the closest we've got. One thing I noticed right away along the back when it's showing off the devices you can use is this big caution sticker about do not connect and detach this repeatedly. Now I did ask them about this and apparently people would get these new cables and then they would just repeatedly just attach and detach. I mean think how fast you can connect and disconnect a magnet, it's pretty crazy. And that rapid change of voltage when you have it plugged in your machine could damage the cord or the machine itself, which I think kind of makes sense. In the box you're going to find a little carrying case, which I thought was a little nice touch. It's kind of akin to what you'd see maybe if you picked up a new pair of beats, something you can just roll up the cord in and take it with you in your bag. On top of that, it has a little Velcro strap, even though the Velcro strap it will lose a little bit much to be desired. Each of the ends, you have one with a bolt symbol and one with that Vinpok symbol on the other side. The one with the Vinpok printed on it, that is actually the one with the, more or less, the, the MagSafe part, the little adapter and the actual magnetic part of the USB-C cable. Both of the ends, which is really nice, they're actually made out of metal, so they're actual, it's nice weighted, it, like, it feels like a good, solid cable. Now, just like the ones we've seen in the past, it does require that little adapter, but I have to say this adapter is tiny. I barely notice this sticking out of the side of your machine. Yes, it does have to stick out of the side of your machine at all times if you're going to want to have to be able to just connect this cable anytime you want, but it is really, really small, only a few millimeters sticking out, much less than many others would. And you can use this literally with the actual just power adapter included with your MacBook, it's just a standard cable. And because it's USB-C, it can go up ways or down ways, so you can rotate it when you put it in. The magnetic part itself, though, works only in one direction. So even though that little part, see how there's three pins on one side and two on the other, you can only connect the cable one way or another. I prefer to put the other way with the logos on the bottom. I've also found the magnetic part of this to be very apt, like it is a really good solid connection. I can usually move around freely without the cable just falling off, which is something I know I've seen from other cables in the past. It holds on there when it needs to, but will quickly and easily detach or someone would ever trip over that cord. It also does a really good job of powering up your machine, regardless of which one it is. This is the only one that I've seen so far that can actually go all the way up to 86 watts. The actual charger that your you know, MacBook Pro or something comes with can go up to 87 watts. This is 86 is what it's saying. So it can go all the way up there and charge your Mac at, at pretty much full speed. When you compare it to the actual Apple USB-C cable, they're very, very similar. The width of the cables is pretty similar. It's actually slightly thinner than the Apple cables, but other than that, the sizes are all pretty much the same. Other than the Vinpok, the bolt cable actually is made out of aluminum on the end. So it's got all these metal uh, weighted ends, such as the plastic ones that come with your MacBook. It does come in two different colors, a white cable and a black cable with a silver or a matte black finished end. I definitely like that option. I'm a little more partial to the black cable, but I really like them both. I don't even know. I like them both. It's hard to pick sometimes. But luckily, you could pick up a couple cables and just have them around in different spots so you don't have to worry about toting cables with you. And they do come in that travel case anyway. It's also important to note this cable is just for charging. So this isn't going to transfer any data or you know export any video. This is literally just for charging your machine. So that's one downside, as well as the fact that that magnet only works in one direction. Those are pretty much the only two negatives I could see with this cable. If you guys have any other questions or let us know what you think of the the PacMag Bull S down in the comments below. Otherwise, you can find it at the link in the description. Subscribe. Until next time, it's Andrew for IDB.